This video will cover how to manage applications and products that you've created in your ProTrade database. So, if you haven't already watched the videos on how to create applications and products, you can find links to view them below this video. Applications and products that you create in the Database tab are always saved and available for future projects. New applications that you create, changes to products, and removal of unwanted items are saved to your Database tab. So, for example, if I want to change the name of the Shingles product to report differently, I can click the Edit button here and change the name to say Roof Shingles instead. I can also add a new attribute, let's say 50 year, and I can make that the new default attribute. And then I can also change the waste percentage to, let's say, 15%. I'll just click Save and adjust the color as well. And now my database has been updated with these adjustments and the adjustments to this product will be available for any future projects that I'm working on. I could also choose to remove products or remove applications by clicking the Remove button. If I don't need this Drip Edge product, I can just remove it. I can also remove this Porch and Patio Slab application as well. And again, as we move forward with new projects, those changes will be reflected. But what about old projects? projects that were completed before the changes were made to the applications and products in our database. Let's open an old job that was completed before we made these changes and see what it looks like. I'll choose a job that uses the Drip Edge product and the Porch and Patio Slab application that we deleted. This job also has an old version of our Shingles product. As we look at the Products tab, we see that there are a couple of warning symbols. Here we have a caution symbol indicating that the drip edge flashing is a product that was being used in this project, but it's not currently in our database since we just deleted it. When it comes to products that are not in our database, but are in the current project, we have two options. One, we can do nothing, and this project will simply continue to make use of this product, but it won't be added to our database and won't be available for future jobs. Or two, we can click the Update DB button, and now this product has been added back into our database so we can make use of it in the future. The second type of warning symbol indicates there is a conflict between the item in this project versus how it's being stored in the database. Hovering the mouse over it will display the conflicts. The bold items are conflicting with the database. We see that the product name has changed, we've added an attribute, and the waste factor and color are different. Those values can be compared from here to the ones that are currently being used on the project. When it comes to a conflict like this, we have three options. First, we can once again do nothing. The project will continue to use its values and the database will remain unchanged. Or option two, we can click the Update DB button and our database will then be updated to reflect the settings that are in this old project. This is essentially saying, we like the way we used to use this product, and we'll change our database to match this project. Or option three, we can click the Update Project button. Our project is now updated to the latest version of our database. This is perhaps the most common choice because it's saying we wanna take our changes to our database and apply them to our old project. So that way our old project is up to date and consistent with the way we do things now. I'll click Update Project and now the new color is being used and the name is changed, and all our values are applied to this project. These options work the same way for applications. If I go back and look at the Applications tab, I can update my database to add back the Porch and Patio application or just leave it blank. So whether you're updating, adding, or removing applications and products, or just working on old jobs or revisions, it's easy to manage your database tab and manage the applications and products to fit your specific needs.